Hi, I'm Jennifer. This is on Earth Relics, and in today's episode, I am going on a little bit of an adventure. So if you've been watching for a while, you might remember that I had found a really cool old scrapbook uh, at a an estate sale in the greater Los Angeles area. And um, as I was going through it, realized that it had a lot of significant historical value potentially as a um, record of a particular period of time in the theater's history. It had a lot of great photos and playbills and uh, scripts and other really cool things. So um, I decided to reach out and see if that organization was still in existence and it was and um, offered the scrapbook to them and they were really excited uh, as it turns out they have a collection of artifacts and memorabilia from the years but we're missing things from that particular period of time so it really was a treasure as it turns out to that particular organization and i'm really glad that i made the decision to um, try to return it rather than pulling pieces out of it and using it for different collages and crafts because it did have a lot of value and uh, will be an important way for them to recall things from their organization's past. In any case, um, this past weekend I had the opportunity to fly back to Los Angeles uh, to celebrate a friend's birthday and went ahead and brought the scrapbook along with me and got to drop that off at the theater. So. of Pico and 27th near Santa Monica in the Los Angeles area and I am bringing the scrapbook back to the playhouse uh, that it's associated with. So I was able to connect with 
uh, one of the managers and told him what I had and he got back to me and was really excited about um, getting to add that to their collection. So I'm excited to take it home, to its new home, uh, where it will be a part of their historical legacy. So let's get it on across the street. While we were in the area, one of my friends recommended that we go out to Burbank to do a little bit of thrifting and uh, it did not disappoint. They have a little area and um, several vintage stores within kind of close proximity to one another, including a really cool store where they actually sell garments and other things that were used in films and movies and TV shows. And you can actually look on the tags for the clothing. And then there's kind of a code cheat sheet to see which uh, show that it had been used on. Uh, so that was really cool. Lots of great retro funky things um, all over the place. I uh, went to another uh, vintage clothes and antique store and uh, found a couple other cool spots we really liked. Uh, one that was called the Catnip Coalition. It had um, cats um, actually in the front window and really cool um, little mini booths. It was kind of like a small antique mall and they were all really beautiful and stunning and you know unique and eclectic. Uh, so we had a lot of fun there. Uh, we went to another shop. They had a really fun wheel that you could spin uh, for charity, um, but you know, a chance to win. I think it was just credits for shopping. So it was more just the experience of getting to spin in. It was for like a bunny rescue. And I thought that was the most adorable um, charity type of thing that you could come up with. So we did that. And another one called Junk for Joy that was really cool. Um, yeah, I just had a wonderful day. Found a couple small things um, that I'll bring home and um, used for collages and crafting. Um, but all told, it was a really exciting trip uh, with some great thrifting goodness and kind of a good deed or a good thrift deed for the day um, insofar as being able to bring that scrapbook back to its rightful home. And it was a fun trip and a fun adventure. And I thank you for joining me today.